So as a lot of you may know, I play a lot of Pixel Pack. <coughs> let's, let's start again. A lot of you guys probably know I play every Hive game, like, a lot. But what is my favourite all-time Hive game? In today's video, I'll be ranking each Hive game, in my opinion, from least favourite to my favourite. <sighs> Sorry for hurt your opinions and my weird opinions, I don't have a... I think everyone knows that Bridge is by far my least favourite game on Hive and it's for many many reasons. For starters there's the kit problem. I feel like yeah, too many snowballs with the snowball kit, the leap is still just as obnoxiously overpowered and annoying and the gapples are just not used at all making it virtually useless. I also feel like that as a whole Bridge on Bedrock is just a weird concept. I've seen like Java Bridge games, I've seen Bedrock Bridge games, and the way Java Bridging works compared to Bedrock Bridging just makes Bridge seem a lot more balanced on Java and shouldn't be something seen on Bedrock because, like you can see in the clip I have, like I'm just speed bridging over this guy. Like it just makes it, it makes it really easy and it almost like if you get the first goal and you make a good enough bridge. You're basically set to win the whole game just over one bridge you've done, and I don't really like that sort of factor. Depending like who does this bridge first, not a matter of skill and people bypassing so much. And also, why is there skill-based matchmaking in solos, but no leaderboards or public stats? Like, what is the point of skill-based matchmaking? The only game to have this matchmaking in the entirety of Hive just to, you know, not have anything to show for it publicly. It's stupid, I think, and it's probably the biggest reason why I hate Bridge so much. This one might seem a little surprising, but honestly, all the 10 other games I really like to play, but Block Drop is probably the one I enjoy the least out of the ones I do like. Mostly because it feels like Death Run, but with just a lot more... I don't know, it's not sweat, but it's more just focus, like, with every single game, you can sort of just shut off and maybe during the game, like, look at your phone, look at your laptop, but with Block Chop, it's just so, like, you can't take your eyes off the screen for just one second, and I'm not that sort of player who can look at the screen every single second when they're playing, and if I did look away for just a moment, like, I'd instantly die, and, yeah, it's just, it's just something that, it's t it takes so much focus, and it's just really just a more competitive death run I find. So it's not really one of my favourites, it's just something that I play for the quests and not really play obsessively like other games. Honestly, I have a really big love-hate relationship with survival games. Like, I get next to no enjoyment out of it. But at the same time, sometimes I can just get the most fun on all the hive of it. But mo the most of the time, it's a really disliking. I feel like it's a more balanced Sky Wars, but at the same time, it is so unbalanced. It's just so weird. Like some games, you can get like two stacks of arrows and not a single bow. Then the next game, you can get like five bows and two arrows. A stack of snowballs, or no snowballs, and then like, a quarter stack of cobwebs, or no cobwebs. This game is just so... You get such a random amount of items, in either such low quantities that it's unfair, or such high quantities, it's just like, when are you ever going to use them? <laughs> it's just so funny because I feel like there's not enough equal distribution of items to give, like, worse players a fair chance, and to give better players a challenge. And this totally isn't to do with that because Survival Games is the only game I win less than half my games of in Hive. It's totally not because I'm a total awful player in this game. But yeah, like sometimes it's really fun, sometimes it's just not. Like, I have no words or like I, I, I can't express how much I can hate this game, but also how much I can love this game. It is just so up and down with the bubble game for me, but overall I do quite like it. I 
I gotta be honest, if it wasn't for the amount of inappropriate builders, racist builders, and AFKers, and awful teammates, like, I would rank just build maybe 4th, and that is really high, considering how a lot of people dislike this game. It's the most active hive game, but the deadest leaderboard. I don't understand why that is, but I really like just build. Like, I really like it. I'm not really good at building, I'm like, very bad at it, I think, but I just like to play this build if I want to like, you know, play Hive, but not have to try so hard, and I can just sort of relax and just play and just build silly little things that are, are of course on topic, and because I'm giving, get given a topic, it's like, I can sort of build something new every time. But something also to what I like to build. I find this build a really good game, honestly. I, I, it's just really good to play, I think. And it's quite an underrated game. And it was also one of my favourite grinds to level 20, I think. Or well, not to level 20, but one of my favourite grinds to max level, I feel like. I actually used to main Skywars when I first joined Hive back in November 2020 and I rarely ever play it now. Like I really don't find much enjoyment in Skywars anymore because I feel like it's just a get diamond armour and steamroll everyone kind of game. Not something that is sort of like something that needs thinking and strategy because in, cus in public servers this game is kind of dead now I feel like. All you gotta do is just get first mid, get the inner chests, and that's it. You basically got a guaranteed win. It feels too easy. And a lot of things I thought like need buffing in a way. Like the gold ore, you never ever really mine. I feel like the lapis should always give a spell, but have like a lower chance to give the better ones. Like you more um, say like most of the time you got the fire spell compared to life or swiftness because that one's obviously the worst one. Like I thought that would make lapis a bit more balanced to feel like. And to be honest, this game is only really alive in custom servers now. The leaderboards are full of cheaters. Skywars trios is a hell because there's just you rarely ever go a game in Skywars where you don't see a cheater now, and that is just kind of a sign that this game sort of is dead now. Although I would kind of like to see level 100 in it, uh, maybe I would revive it for a while, I'm not sure, but really I don't get enjoyment out of Skywars in public games anymore, only custom servers, and I don't like that. Okay, now we're getting into the games that I really, really like to play, and Capture Flag is definitely one of them. It is really fun to play for no reason, I don't know why it's so fun, but I remember when Arcade first came out and I went on that grind to match all of them. Capture a Flag was a really fun grind from start to finish, and I still play it every now and then when I solo queue or like queue with just a single friend, and it, it remains as fun as it is, even with the horrible TNT. Like, this game just somehow keeps being fun, and even when there's like sweats in it like they beat me in sky wars or small games or even treasure wars but somehow in capture the flag i just feel like a much better player against those players i don't know how or why but it just feels like a really good game to play and then with friends you're like you're guaranteed wins it's just it's just a really fun time in general playing this one If I was to put Defron low in top 5, I feel like it would be very criminal. Defron really just is a really friendly community. It's a great game. It's perfectly balanced. There's really nothing wrong with Defron. And I especially love it because a lot of people probably don't even know this about me, but I really love speedrunning. I don't do a lot of it anymore, but. Honestly, I love watching speedruns, I love looking at speedrun documentaries, and because Defrun is, as, is the most popular speedrun game on Hive, I'm pretty sure, like, the Defrun map speedruns are so interesting, 
and I have tried it myself with toys. I got to like second worldwide before, and just it's a game that is just really solid, no flaws, really fun as well. But it doesn't. It's not a game that I could play non-stop like how the top all-time players have. Like only if there's new levels, I could play it for so long. But it is a really good game, and I feel like there is just so little wrong with it. And that's why it is deserving in top 5. Anything lower would be criminal. I ain't gonna lie, there is nothing more fun than dying on purpose to just seek, seek, and seek. I hate hiding, but oh my god, I love seeking on this game. I don't know why this game is so fun when so many people describe it as an AFK simulator. Like, I I used to grind hide and seek, just non-stop seeking for hours and hours going to 10,000 hider kills and I loved it so much. And it still remains one of my favourite things to do in all of Hive. And I know, I'm putting hide and seek above sky walls. I'm going to get dislikes for this, but I just love hide and seek on Hive and it's just unexplained why I love seeking so much but I used to hate it like when I first played hide and seek which is also the first game I actually played on Hive whenever I got seeker I would just give myself up for a free kill or queue out the game and now I'm at the stage where I queue if I'm hider or just die on purpose actually I hate the winning as hider quests so much because it's just so boring not seeking. It is so fun. I love this. It is such a solid concept. And I know it is just hide and seek, but oh my god. I love seeking. Before we get into the top three, any of these three can be considered my number one favourite game on Hive but I just ordered it into which I play more lately to make it more fair on each of the three. Also, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like the video and maybe subscribe if you're not. I'd really appreciate it since I'm trying to pick my channel back up after taking quite a break and maybe go for a thousand subscribers in a, the near future. Without any of you, let's get into my top three. Oh boy, murder mystery. People are going to be surprised that I'm putting this in third and not first, but I've lost a lot of love for Murder Mystery over the times. Around about, I don't know, maybe eight months ago I started to enjoy playing it less and Prestige really was the knife in the chest for it. Like, the game was so good, but then the player base has just really dropped in quality and Prestige really, I feel like, just killed off the game. But I still love the game as a whole. Like, uh, the montages I make, they're my favourite things to make. My murderer's quality is amazing. Like, it's a great game. It's one of the few games that I'm really, like, top tier at as well. All. And, yeah, just... Everything about Murder Mystery is great, except from that Prestige update. If we're not counting the Prestige update, I'd probably put this number one, but wow. As I said, Prestige really just, really just put the knife in the chest of this game. But I, I still like it, but I still hate Office. This is, without a doubt, most underrated game on Hive. I hate to say it like this, but literally everyone I've seen who says they don't like Ground Wars are the ones who aren't max level in it. Most of those people say the XP is dumb. I don't know if it's just me being the first one to max Ground Wars in Arcade saying this, but not gonna lie, it's annoying when people say they don't like it just because the XP is dumb. It I'm someone who likes projectiles, and this is a fully projectile game, as why I love it so much. It is so fun just being clucky and just shooting eggs at people, destroying the entire lobby, getting like 20 plus kills with zero deaths, 
and it's just so fun to play this game like I could play this game for a long long time and not find it boring I don't understand why people find it boring or bad when literally you're just throwing eggs at people it's just a really fun chill game I really would not mind more levels this game to max out I don't think I try to be the first one to say like get level 40 but I definitely just get there because it's just a really really fun game it's deserving of top 3 it's deserving to be second and honestly I wanted to put this in first for so long but the game that obviously you probably know what it is by now but it's just so obvious that I love Ground Wars and I want more people to love Ground Wars too I feel like people will be quite surprised that I'm putting Treasure Wars in number one considering how I don't really do much of Treasure Wars aside from like make ASMRs with it which yeah I do enjoy. The thing with Treasure Wars and me is grinding it heavily maybe get burnt out but as a, PV as a PvP sense of things it is by far my favourite and all the PAB PvP games I've, I've played. Is it my favourite overall? I'm not really sure because like I say it's so it's quite tight between Murder Mystery, Ground Wars and Treasure Wars but mainly because I'm playing Treasure Wars the most right now is sort of why I'm putting it at number one and for what I like want to be most known for playing it's down to Murder Mystery and Treasure Wars. Murder Mystery for being one of the top players in that but then in Treasure Wars I'm like mid tier, high mid sort of thing and um, yeah, it's a game that I'm constantly striving to be better on the most. So there's obviously a reason why I still play it. And even when I get Prestige 5 level 100, I feel like I'm going to probably keep playing it every now and then. But of course, with every other game, I do have reasons to dislike it. Like people who just buy Dime Dharma in solos, that, that really annoys me. But that's just like one in every so often games. But honestly there's a lot about treasure wars I do like it is definitely the most balanced PvP game I feel like which I like the idea of having a balanced game where everyone can have equal gear it's just down to how they play not oh you got here first have the best items I feel like treasure wars is definitely the most solid one with the probably also the most solid PvP community as well like I'd really want to try out scrims one day but I think you need like DC prevent on mouse or something and I don't know you can get that on PS4 so it's gonna be weird but yeah PvP wise Treasure Wars is definitely number one number one overall probably two what is your favorite and least favorite hive game let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it would really appreciate it and I'll see you next video bye